So how do you take your business to the next level in the next year? Um, often Christmas and New Year is the time for setting goals, but this can be any time. Uh, any time a business owner or a leader of a business decides, you know what, what we've been doing isn't going to get us to where we want to be. How do we take that step up to another level of operating that gets us better results, better conversions, better revenue, better profits. Um, this video and a series of videos I'm going to do is going to talk through some of the things that you need to be thinking on, working on and executing in your business to really step up. Um, and if you're a business owner, you know what I mean, that feeling that the business isn't reaching its potential. There's some blockages in the way that are hindering the performance of the business. Uh, so this series is going to touch on that stuff. And if you're in that position, please subscribe to the channel because as I produce more videos, it will help you really get to grips with uh, some of the key things that you can be doing to move, step up and move forward. So the first thing that you have to address if you want to take your business to the next level is your mindset. Your mindset is the biggest limiting factor on your business. The way you think about things, the way you react to things, the way you perceive the world is spread through your organisation. So uh, I come from a, a very working class family and one of the biggest challenges I had Growing up, um, one year my parents didn't have any money for Christmas, so my dad cut up a wardrobe and made wooden toys for us at Christmas because we were a coal mining family in the middle of the miners' strike and we had nothing. Um, uh, so for me, coming from that kind of world, I had a great childhood, loved by both my parents, but, I had, but coming from that kind of world, I had a lot of perceptions about the way the world works the value of money and all of these different things that when I brought to my business, uh, I had, first of all, I had a quite a poverty and a lack mentality. I didn't think about things the way they are. I, I thought about things the way I saw the world, which was totally wrong, totally wrong. But that spread as a culture through my business. So what happened was is, is other people learned that behavior about how the business works, that the business always had to batten down for tough times all the time and we never took any risks because we had to um, play it safe because of where my mentality had come from. Now, your mindset may not be like mine, but there are a lot of ways that your mindset about the business will affect the future and the progression of the business. So say for an example, if you've got imposter syndrome, you know, you started this business, but you don't really believe in yourself that you're capable of running it. You will create problems for your business. If you're in the imposter syndrome where you think, do you know what, my luck's going to run out at some point. I've been lucky so far. Uh, guess what? You're not going to be able to plan through things and build things for the long term because you think that you're here by chance. So there's lots of ways that our mindset affects us down to how we perceive the value of money. Many years ago, I thought I had a warped perception of money and so I wasn't charging enough and I wasn't charging what I, I something was worth. So I was making lots of sales but not making much money. And then somebody said to me, why do you think that about money? Why do you think that that's the right price? And we did all the data research and all of that stuff and we looked at it and we said, right, we are massively undercharging. And then, but when I came to make that decision to actually increase prices, I was, I couldn't settle it. I couldn't reconcile it. I couldn't understand why all the data was saying this is, this is what the pricing should be. But when it came to actually putting it up, I didn't feel comfortable. And that wasn't just uh, an issue of gut instinct. That was my mindset informing my beliefs about the business, about my products, about my services. And you will have these same challenges that if you do something, uh, it might not work or you're scared to fail. So you're you're uh, risk averse. All of these thought processes are in your mind 
uh, that have been programmed in you from experience, life, your upbringing, uh, past business experiences, all of that stuff just fills you up. And then when you come to a point where you need to pivot and, and up the game, these things kind of block you and stop you. Not in the sense of, I physically can't do it, but in the sense of you're thinking about it. And I, I know myself, in the early days, some of the things I did, I actually sabotaged my own success. I actually didn't promote something because I didn't believe it could work. And of course, when you don't believe something can work, you don't put your energy into it. And when you don't put your energy into it, guess what? It doesn't work. So you prove yourself right. So mindset is the most important thing. It's not easy to change mindsets. You have to go into places that challenge and contradict your beliefs as a person about the way your business works and everything. So you need to get into spaces, get into resources and materials that challenge the things that may be holding you back in your mindset, in, the, in your outlook, in your worldview, because they are the things that are ultimately will help you progress or stay where you are or re re contract, shrink your business. So mindset is the first foundation of taking your business to the next level. If you don't have that sorted, you will have a lot of trouble trying to scale your business because you won't be able to make clear judgments based on fact. It'll be based on your worldview, which could be warped, twisted, or just slightly out of alignment. Uh, but it will affect the growth and your ability to take your business to the next level. So uh, get your mindset in, in gear. Get reading resources. Get some books about mindset. Fill that your world with different views on the way things work and start to realize that maybe some of the things you're thinking don't bear any resemblance to reality. Start to look at what's really happening in the world. Uh, and you have to challenge yourself um, and say, actually, no, what I believe is wrong. And it will take time to really change your thinking. But you have to go, what I believe is wrong. I am believing the wrong things about the world, my business, the business community, my competitors, my customers, the works. And start to get your mindset in alignment with where the market and your business is so that you can go forward with a clear head, make clear decisions and take your business to the next level. So, all right, uh, this is the first one about mindset. I'm going to do a few more. So uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you uh, in other videos about other things you need to be doing, both practical and strategic, to take your business to the next level.